What's up guys, welcome to your 121st Android tutorial for the new Boston. And I've decided to do a few more tutorials on the SQL Lite database um, because I've gotten so many requests on my channel so I thought I should at least elaborate a little bit more within this series. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow the user to throw in an edit or throw in a number, which is gonna be a row ID, then we can get some information and it's just gonna fill in these edit text up here with the information that returns. We're gonna also also going to be allowed to edit that row information and change our entries into the database and also we can delete that whole row if we want. So let's get into it. Uh, again you guys just need to set up an edit text. What I did is go into the text fields and throw this one that says number over there. That way when they select this edit text the number keypad will come up for them instead of you know the the alphabetical keyboard. And then what we're going to do is um, you know you guys can set up your references for the most part whatever you guys uh, you know by this point you should know how to set up your own references and it won't really matter as long as you have the reference bridges over in and Java set up properly so what I did is I set up both those buttons those three buttons and our new edit text so our whole class can use them and then I created uh, basically the, my variable names was SQL row which is our edit text which is going to give us the the row number SQL modify which is our button that's gonna you know modify that entry uh, SQL get information <clears throat> again that's gonna just uh, return the information from our row that we insert um, SQL delete uh, that's what I named for my delete button and then I just set all on click listeners and set up you know three new cases within our switch in case for our on click listener so let's get into it uh, the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna kinda program our get information so we gotta kinda think about what we want uh, again our application to do the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna refer to our SQL row edit text that's the new one that we set up and we're just gonna say get text uh, dot to string and we're gonna set up a string variable to equal that so we're just gonna call this our string or s something like that and now we have a string that's gonna return whatever is in our edit text now what we want to do is we want to convert that string into like an int um, or you know a, a long let's say let's do a long and we'll call this long l so what we're gonna do now is convert our string into a long type variable <clears throat> and we do that by parsing and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna refer to the long class dot parse long and as you can see it takes a string with its parameters and we're gonna give that string reference the s so again this l variable is just basically converting whatever was in our edit text into a long type variable now what we want to do is again we're just gonna set up a hot or not uh, variable hot or not I'm gonna set this equal to again just a new hot or not um, instance where we pass in the context of this class and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our hot or not so we can write to it and then we're gonna say like we're gonna get some information back um, a name and that hotness of the row so what we want to do is we want to say something like a string uh, returned oops turned name equals and then we can say our HON or hot or not object dot get name and we're gonna create this this method and we're gonna pass in our long so again we're gonna create this method called get name where it takes a long within its uh, parameters so again our long is gonna be which row uh, the person typed into the edit text then that it's gonna send that off to this method called get name that we're gonna set up so uh, that's what that's gonna do and then we're also gonna set up another string for our returned hotness pretty much the same concept there so uh, get hotness uh, we can call it 
and again we want to pass in which row we're looking at so there we go now we're just gonna close our hot or not uh, you know type variable and then now we have our returned name and our returned hotness so what we're gonna do is just set our edit text um, up to equal that returned name and that returned hotness so again our edit text we're called SQL uh, name dot set text and we're gonna set it to our returned name and then we're gonna set our hotness edit text to our returned uh, hotness so there we go we pretty much have everything set up uh, and now we just need to create these methods which we'll do in the next tutorial but just to get started we're gonna hover over and say create method for both of these um, so go back into this class and we're gonna create this method as well so uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we're, again we'll kind of talk about uh, returning some information so I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.